It's time for Art Lab with your favorite mad scientist, Dr. Archibald Kerfuffle. Today's experiment, Bubble Prince. <gasps> oh! Hello, my art scientists, and welcome to my secret laboratory. My name is Dr. Archibald Kerfuffle, and I'm here because we are going to experiment with materials at home. Now, we are going to make bubble prints. And if any of you have never made a print before, a print is when an artist creates some sort of design by imprinting some material onto another. Today, we are going to use bubbles to make a print. Now, let's talk about materials. What do we need? Why, you're going to need to lay out a thick piece of plastic onto your table to make sure those bubble prints don't get a mess all over your table. Next, you're going to need a baking sheet and you're gonna place the baking sheet onto the plastic. You will also need Paper, of course, scissors to cut it down if you would like. You are going to need water, dish soap. You are going to need about four or five bowls, depending on how many food coloring colors you have. So if you have four food coloring bottles, you can use four bowls, one for each. You will also need a wet sponge or some paper towels to clean up any mess that got on your hands or the baking sheet. And last but not least, you are going to need a plastic straw. Now, once we have all of the materials gathered and set out, what you are going to do is you are going to place that bowl, that first bowl on your baking sheet and Miss Annie will explain the rest. Okay, let's make sure that we have all the materials that we need to make our bubble prints. What you definitely need is that baking sheet laid out, and you are gonna be putting your supplies on top of that baking sheet, just in case something spill over. The spillover will go on the baking sheet and not make a mess on your table. The other thing that you're gonna need is a bowl or actually a few bowls um, you are going to have one bowl per food coloring color that you want to do so right now i have one bowl out you will also need dish soap you will also need some water so if you have either a glass or a jar of water on hand that's great you're also going to need a plastic straw something to mix our mixture with, either a, a chopstick or a pencil, or right here I have a paintbrush. And you're also going to need food coloring. Now, right here I have four different colors, blue, green, yellow, and red. If you only have one color, that's fine. But the more colors you have, the more a variety you have to make your bubble prints different colors. I also have here, some paper to do our bubble prints on, and a pair of scissors. Now, if you wanna make your bubble prints on one large sheet of paper, that's fine, you can do that, but I might wanna make them a little bit smaller. So what I can do is I can take my sheets of paper, I can line them up, I can fold them in half, like that, and then using my scissors, I can cut along the fold. Once I have them cut along the fold, I can choose to have them this size, which is pretty great. If I want them even smaller, what I can do is fold it over again, fold it in half to make an even smaller piece of paper. Use my scissors. Cut along the fold to make even smaller pieces of paper. Okay, I'm gonna put my paper aside and my scissors aside, 
Now I'm going to concentrate on creating the mixture for our bubble prints. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your water, find your first bowl, and you can fill your bowl probably about, I would say more than halfway up your bowl. So maybe about like a cup and a half, depending on the size of your bowl. Then I'm going to take my dish soap and I'm going to squeeze about a tablespoon or a little bit more into the mixture. Okay. Then you can take your finger, you can take a pencil, you can take a chopstick, you can take a paintbrush, but you're going to mix, 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 mix that mi mixture up to make the dish soap totally mix with our water. You can already see some bubbles already. Okay. Now that I have that, it's time to add the food coloring. Now you are going to choose only one color per bowl because if you start mixing colors, you might end up with kind of a gross brown color and we want to keep our colors uh, pretty pure. So I'm going to pick, let's say, blue. What you can do is very carefully, if your food coloring has a cap, you can take the cap off or if it's one of those snap caps, you can take the snap cap off. Mine is one of these twist off caps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to squeeze my food coloring and I would say you want about like 10 drops. I put a lot in because the more food coloring you put in, the stronger your color is gonna look on your bubble prints. Okay, so once you have that, you can again, you can take your straw even and mix, mix, mix. See how dark that is? That's going to make a really nice bubble print. Then, once you're ready, you can take your straw, you can put one end into the bowl, and on the other end, you're going to blow. And you're going to blow so much so that the bubbles go above your bowl and then once your bubbles are kind of in a big cloud above your bowl you're going to take that piece of paper and you're going to pat those bubbles down you're not putting your paper in the uh, water mixture just on the bubbles and then once you do you can start seeing the imprint of those bubble shapes on your piece of paper let's try it one more time i, I if i want to make this a little bit darker with more bubbles I can again do it one more time. And pat it down. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. Do you see how it spilled over onto the baking sheet? Thank goodness I had that baking sheet to catch that mess. Once I have my uh, bubble print, I'm gonna put it off to the side somewhere, somewhere where it can dry. And what I can do is get another bowl. I can fill it with a different color and create a bubble print of a completely different color. If you want to combine um, another color onto your bubble prints, what you can do is once you have that bowl of a separate color, take your bubble print that you, you've already made and you can pat down this bubble print with a second color. All right. Good luck. Like Miss Annie said, if you want to do many different colors, you are going to put those different colors into different bowls. Now, let's experiment by doing a bubble print of two colors. First, I might want to pick my blue. And you can use a large sheet or one of our small sheets of paper to pat, 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 pat those blue bubbles down. Now, as that's drying, I'm going to move over to maybe my yellow bowl. I'm going to use the same straw, maybe wiping it off. I'm going to blow my bubbles. And with the same sheet of paper that I did my blue, on top of the blue, I'm going to pat, 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 with my yellow on top. All your prints you can set aside someplace on the plastic to dry. Once they're dry, you're going to have beautiful bubble prints. 
Well, my art scientist friends, it's time for me to go, but happy experimenting! This has been another Art Lab with Archibald Kerfuffle. Yay!